This is Rogue498, back with uh, Boktai, The Sun is in Your Hand. Uh, well, last time when we left off, I was lost. And the game stopped working on my computer, so now it's actually working on my laptop that I just got. Yay. Now, okay, so a few things. New interface, pretty much the same thing. You can see a counter for where um, you know, you'll see how many times I got seen. And also, you'll see, I've only been seen once so far. So, yeah, that's good. Pretty glad about that, and... And well, probably... Actually, the video's probably up right now. You'll see in a... You'll see in a video that, um... You'll see here, at the end of this video, the screenshots to show proof that I've only been seen once. So... Yeah. You have that to look forward to. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Come this way, come this way. No! 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 Three. Now it's up to three. I don't like those guys. In fact, I hate those guys so much. This is the only area that they're in in this thing. And, yeah, I hate them. Okay, so... There's only two of them now. They'll leave me alone if I just avoid them. Don't have to deal with this, this guy. Let's go. Alright. What's in this door? Nothing. Okay. Here we go. Gee, yeah. I forgot. What's on? What's in this door? It's this way, which goes here. I need to find some way to the other side. I try. I'll let you guys know, this is my second time trying to record this. My first time, one, I didn't do very well, and two, uh, well, actually, I didn't do very well, and I ended up doing the same thing that I did in the last episode, where I got lost. Now I'm gonna, I really hate this next area. No, I don't care for that. Oh, come on. Let's go this way. Thank you. There we go. Come with me. The next one's even more fun. Uh, I I'm starting to get really tired of this castle though. Oh no. Okay. My chance. Thank you. All 
right. This... There we go. Take care of him. <sighs> okay. This place seems free of dark contamination. Now for the solar barrier. If you place the coffin inside this barrier, it will be held firmly by the sun's power. Use the solar barrier when you need to leave the coffin temporarily. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find a way out of here. To Yeah, and there's nothing over here for me, so I'll find a way out, and then I'll come back and grab the coffin. And hopefully I don't get lost on the way. Oh yeah, another thing. Um so yeah, I used I wasn't able to record this game because the uh solar sensor fun functions on um no cash GBA were not working. They were not working. So, is there any other way over there? Because this way is blocked off. There is no other way, is there? So I just need to explore then. Come over here. Solid snow, solid solar boy Django, at your service. Huh, it's kind of hot, weird, how I figured this out on my first try, back when I first got the game. That, that, I do admit, that is kind of weird, how I was able to figure it out then, but I can't figure it out now. Will this do anything? Let's see. No, that... Okay, that doesn't do anything to it. Okay, let's go. I don't know where to go. Uh, wait, what's this? East wing roof. You know, I'll just cut to when I figure out where to go, so... Okay, I'm back, and guess what? I just figured this out. I am such a moron that I couldn't figure that out. I couldn't figure it out last part, and I couldn't figure it out this part. Wow. If anyone wants to insult me, that's fine. Because, holy shit, do I deserve it. Oh, God. I can't believe it. Well, let's finish off this vampire. Here we go. Charge up full of sunlight. Let's go. Well, 
Let's beat the count. All right. You know, the, these fights aren't actually that hard. They're a lot easier, though, the more sunlight you have. Kind of like with uh, one of my plans for Metal Gear Rising with the bosses, is I plan on having, like, just a god playthrough. Where I just use, like, all of my leveled up stuff just to beat the game as fast as I can. Come on. I do like how these fights keep you moving. Because these bosses always have, like, a form of attack that will try to, like, keep you from tending to the pile drivers. Impossible! Me! Expire! That blood of yours belongs to a solar child. You are truly his. Count, what have you done with Moon Beauty? Ha! <laughs> that woman. That traitor. Our precious sacrifice for the queen. She's in the far north. But you'll never make it there. There's no way you can break the seals of the two gar dark guardians. My job is done. Soon the earthly maiden will follow. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be waiting in the land of death, son of my rival. Dark Guardians? B plus! Yeah! The Dark Seal is gone. We can continue. Django, we must hurry to the Northlands. This gives you some nice, you know, recovery. By the way, Django, about your lens. A solar gun lens is no ordinary piece of glass. It amplifies sunlight and converts it to various kinds of energy. Different types of energy affect undead and immortals in different ways. Try various lenses to find out which is the most effective. Some lenses have properties for use outside battles. You'll probably come across a few of these. When a lens purifies an undead or immortal, it records the experience and develops in this way a lens goes through a level up. You can raise the level of a lens, you can get that much closer to the sun. The highest level is 3. It's up to you which lens to develop, Django. Eventually, I will level up all three lenses. And I also think I forgot to do an area. Here we go. I forgot to do the golem. Not to mention, I've already beaten it, so... I've already beaten it on the play Let's Play channel, so I can beat it on my own time again. Okay, so let's head down here. So yeah, that, this area is now open. Here's the solar tree. Good to see you. Master Otenko, Master Django, this is the solar tree shot. Okay, I'm not reading. I'm not reading all this. Yeah, the tree looks like crap now, but eventually, I promise you guys, it. I will get that tree looking good. It's one of the ways to actually 100% this game. One of the things you have to do is is do that and. Yeah, but we're not going to do that now. <laughs> what? Oh, I have to do it? Okay. Master Jing, uh, okay. 
Come on. Okay. Let's head down here. And let's check this out. Ooh. You defeated the Count Django. Impressive, Solar Boy. Who are you? I'm the Dark Boy Sabata. I am neither friend nor foe. For now, at least, that is unimportant. Here's my advice. Go no further. You've already avenged your father. No! We cannot let the immortals have their way! The undead... If the undeadening continues, the world will... All, all life will perish. All life will perish. But that is the will of the galaxy. No one can stop it. This solar system's time is up. What do you mean? The men and women of this solar system, the animals, the plants, all share the sun's will. We must save money, that is, moon beauty. Why fight a battle you cannot win? To oppose the will of the galaxy is to deny the universe, the source of life, indeed, to deny life on this planet. Huh, do what you must. You and I are destined to settle our differences. Be warned. Who in the world? It looked just like you. And that scarf. It had the same smell. How could you smell it from all the way over here? Hmm. Well, we have a job to do, Django. May the sun be with you. Deserted arsenal. I will see you guys in the next part. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.